Hello, I'm George Roberts. This short screencast is one of a series of screencasts by the Oxford Centre for Staff and Learning Development on reflective writing. In this particular screencast, I'm going to give an example of feedback on an initial reflective statement for the new lecturer's course. In my feedback, I'm interested to establish that the author's experience is valuable and also not uncommon. Many of you will be in a similar position. I welcome the participant to teaching and I assure them that, this, that their comments are valuable. I start with a positive statement. Welcome to the classroom. Next, I note that a strength of this writing is that it is attached to wider discourses of learning and teaching in higher education. And I link it to one of the core texts on our course, Stephen Brookfield's Becoming a Critically Reflective Teacher. Then I note a particular strength of this writing, which is that the author's observations appear to be aligned with research findings in the field, and I link this to another of our key analytical frameworks, Chickering and Gamson's Seven Principles for Good Practice for Teaching in Higher Education. And indeed, it turns out that there are three of our critical frameworks present in this piece of writing. They are not explicit. Perhaps they were not even explicit to the author, but we would not necessarily expect that at this time. It's important to note, however, that this reflective writing reveals Brookfield's lenses, Chickering and Gamson's principles, and Biggs's constructive alignment. The piece then proceeds to illustrate a common and vexing problem for teachers, the international classroom. In this instance, there is also a valuable perspective being brought by the teacher who has been an international student as well. Here, they are using literature to help them come to terms with a really challenging phenomenon. There can be tensions between different groups of students in a classroom. They draw on their experience and they relate this experience both to the experiences of their colleagues as well as to that which is reported in the literature. And from this, they begin to develop strategies for addressing the problems. This is a sound basis for critical, reflective, professional practice. Thank you.